Hey guys, welcome back to the show. I'm Dr. Shea. And I'm Wessie Foxy. And if you're new to the channel, we're a father daughter team, slowly making our way through East Tennessee, but that's not what we're doing today. What are we doing today? Okay, so we are making mayonnaise rolls, but I like to call it <laughs> mayo rolls. <laughs> so a friend of mine was telling me this story the other day that he's a great cook and his wife is not such a great cook. <laughs> like me. Like us. Uh, so he came home the other day and they said, uh, she had told him, I made some mayonnaise rolls. And he's like, yay. <laughs> but then he said they were delicious. So we have to trust his opinion. Yes. So <laughs> I am going to try this recipe. He said it's almost foolproof. Well, we're almost full. So we're going to see if we can do this. So it's a very simple recipe. So you start off with self rising flour, milk, milk. A little bit of sugar and mayonnaise so we don't actually have any mayonnaise so we are tweaking this mayonnaise recipe with miracle whip so these rolls should have a tangy zip so these make like a dinner roll so when I thought mayonnaise roll I was seeing like you know like a pinwheel or like a cupcake with like a mayonnaise filling <laughs> it sounded horrible all right so we're gonna start off you want to name off the ingredients as you do it uh-uh, we've already got it all <laughs> separated. So, so yeah, no. uh, first flour. So we use one cup of flour. Really? One cup of flour. I'm doing the rest. <laughs> it's a half a cup of milk. Yeah, I'm not letting you do that. Uh, you do the mayonnaise. So I got a spoon for you. you. So it is two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Oh, this is not my talent at hand. <laughs> <laughs> And one teaspoon of just granulated sugar. And it said this is optional. I'm kind of sweet, so I need the sugar. <laughs> all right, and mix. Uh, all you do is mix it. You need the and, hold on. Give me. I need spray. Ah, here we go. Go ahead and mix it. So you incorporate all the parts well. And you just pour it into a greased muffin pan. I bought a pot. I got a six muffin. I fear I was reading how much was in all this. I thought it would probably make about six muffins. I will post the actual recipe after all this. So when all this is well incorporated. <laughs> so when all this is well incorporated, uh, you put it into a preheated 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. It's well incorporated. <laughs> is it well incorporated? Alright, so we're going to spray the pan to keep it from sticking. Here, we'll do it this way. I don't know why this spray, this spray I got at Aldi's, uh, or sorry, Aldi's, not Aldi's. It's like, it looks like spray paint. I don't know if that makes it any better or any worse. Alright, so let's spoon, it didn't say how much. Really, here. <laughs> Alright, so this is our rolls. As you can see, we did about half. Does not look appetizing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to throw these in the oven and we'll be right back. So these just came out of the oven. <coughs> I set the timer for 15 minutes, but this is more like 12. So they look golden brown. They look delicious. So you have to adjust your oven accordingly. Let's move that part back so you can actually see it. So these are very hot. So we're going to try it out. Uh, let me get a fork. Oh. All right. So. <coughs> just one fork. Food. Uh, here it is. Ooh, top to bottom. Bottom to top. All right. Yeah, very hot. Very, very hot. Literally right out of the oven. Are right, you ready? No. Are <laughs> right, you ready? No, I am not. You just take a bite. All right, hey. Doink. Mmm. 
You know what? These are good. They're really good. Really, really good. <laughs> now they're just sitting here watching us eat. <laughs> they're pretty good. Um, really fluffy. Really, really fluffy, really light. That's a really good roll. Especially with Thanksgiving right around the corner. I would highly recommend making these. Super simple. Uh, we made them. Yeah, we're... So... <laughs> we haven't died yet. Yeah. So that's positive. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Really, really easy. You could easily double this or triple this to feed a bunch of people. This will taste really good with butter. I would take these over the brown and serve rolls. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, uh, try this out. Let us know how it works out for you. So before you go, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon below. You'll get more videos like this. Maybe even better. Happy friends and and remember, God loves you and so do we. Please try this. This is so fun. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,